Let's go get my colors done. So today I'm getting my colors done with Abby Nagel. She is a house of color consultant. I've been following all things house of color for literally like a year now and I just feel like they do it best. I've watched so many videos and I'm just excited to finally get it done myself. Essentially how it works is you go in no makeup on, nothing, and they're gonna drape you with a white cloth. And then from there, they're just gonna keep putting different colors on you, and we're gonna figure out what my undertone is, and then what season I am, and then what sub-season I am. In case you don't know what color analysis is, essentially it's basically figuring out what season you fit into, that then gives you a set of colors that are going to be your wow colors. If you have a warm undertone, you're going to either be a spring or autumn, and if you have a cool undertone, you're going to be a summer or a winter. I also believe that spring and winter are the brighter seasons seasons and autumn and summer are the more muted color seasons. If I had to put money on it now, I'm going to say I'm either going to be a summer or an autumn. I know for a fact that my dad is a textbook true summer and I'm like 90% sure that my mom is an autumn. And so I feel like I'm going to fall somewhere in between there. And those are the two seasons I have been battling back and forth with which one I fall into. What's crazy is when I first started looking into color analysis, I pretty much immediately figured out that I was an autumn and I ran with it. But something just didn't quite feel right. I felt like when I had makeup on, the autumn colors looked really good, but I tend to wear warmer toned makeup. And more recently, I've started playing around with some cooler summer colors. And I did a little test where I took a photo of myself in front of the mirror and then I like put colors on top of myself on like Canva just to see how I reacted with the colors. And I kind of thought the cool colors worked more, which shook me to my core. Cause I feel like everything that I look at online, I'm a textbook autumn. I've got kind of like this weird golden-y, slightly ashy hair, uh, but it's like this dirty blonde, light brown color. I've got hazel eyes. And I feel like overall my skin is pretty neutral. And I think that is the big kicker is I don't feel like I'm extremely warm or extremely cool. And so it's made it really difficult for me to figure out what colors look best and so now more than ever i'm so excited to find out what season i am what sub season i fall into and i'm so excited so let's go ahead and jump into it okay so i do have a clip in a hair tie perfect so whichever one's gonna be easier and it needs to be up pretty high all right yeah and I, even my hair i'm like sometimes in the light i feel like it looks gold but most of the time i feel like it looks ashy and i'm like uh, i really don't know <laughs> i'm so confused so i'm just i'm ready to get it figured out. figure it out so do you have like highlights and stuff in your hair yeah so everything that you're seeing right now is actually my my natural color okay. but then this like kind of starting here back um okay. i have some highlights but my hair is not as dark as my eyebrows it's definitely a little bit okay. a little bit lighter and are those your natural brows yes nice <laughs> <laughs> and then we look at your eyes in the light so we can get some shining in there so we have our cool Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so a lot of times I like to look big overall, and then there's other areas we could look at the eyes. This is hard for me. <laughs> I like see a difference, but I don't know which one is mm -hmm. better because I feel like the other color makes my skin look warmer, but I don't necessarily think this looks terrible. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, spots on the cheeks are areas that we'll take a mm -hmm. look at. Also the lips. So we, we don't want to overwarm people. Yeah. It's like this really yeah. pretty b balance, and we, but we also don't want to take anyone too cold. Yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. You really seem to pop in that one. Mm-hmm. Like it really seemed bright and focused. And just, I just yep. don't see it there. So no, I totally it. agree. Just, here we've got a cool. Mm. Yeah, you mm. just kind of flatten mm. in the warm. Yeah, I think so too. I, my, my face just looks brighter mm -hmm. with these. It's funny because I always felt like it was whatever color you blend with most, but you are so right. It's like the other, the cooler colors made me pop mm -hmm. so much And you're more. not going cool, like yeah. gray. So that's just always something I'm always careful about because I don't want you to get shadowed uh -huh. cool or gray. And I wasn't getting that. I was getting more of a pinky. Yeah, agreed. And the cheeks um, and lips. Vibrancy. And outer tone wise, it's hard not to see a little color harmony with warm because you yeah. have some little bit of warmth there. Okay, so crazy. Cool. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm cool because I, I literally like up until the past like month, I would have like bet everything that I was warm tone mm -hmm. and I've really been questioning that. But it's nice to have that confirmed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we'll go back and forth. Winter to summer. Winter is just going to be 
bright and clear. Yeah. We usually say these colors give like a nice high contrast because winter yeah. just need that nice bright color right underneath the face. And summers they're cool, mm -hmm. but they're just a lot softer. So here again we have summer, which is still looks bright on you. Mm -hmm. I wonder too bright, right? Yeah. Looks mm. pretty. Mm. Skin gets that nice little filter. Yeah, I definitely so see a difference there. Like I really like this color. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, that, that's <laughs> a huge difference. Summers often just look better in these cooler reds. Mm. So pretty. I love that red color. Mm. You're a summer. Yay! <laughs> and now you can see why. Yes. Because we looked at so many reasons <laughs> yes. that, you know, get you from that a little bit. We want that kick that warm out, but we also don't need you to have such bright, yeah. high contrast colors right there when we get them a little softer. Mm -hmm. And we really see you, we get that skin to just look so nice and airbrushed. Yeah. But you still remain in like full focus. So once we figured out that I was a summer, we started going through my three points of red. These are all colors that I can wear when it comes to makeup. We also started looking at different shades of neutrals like this brown. And I just want to throw it back to an earlier clip. Literally look at this night and day difference now. Now that I know that I'm cool, when I see this tan, it is insane how like sickly it makes my face look versus this cooler tone brown just totally just brightens all my features and I feel like this tan just really subtracts from it and it's just really cool to see how that affects everything. And then what's really cool about House of Color is they also take you through a 90 second makeup routine, basically giving you just a few products that can enhance your natural features. And so we added that in, I took my hair down and then we started testing out a few lipsticks and some of my colors that would pair well with these different shades. There were lots of plums, lots of rose colors, cool toned reds. I was honestly in love with this cool toned red and I never wear lipsticks like this. So I'm definitely excited to play around with it. And then finally we went through and draped every single color from the summer season on me. And then we gave it a three point rating basically to find out what colors are going to be my absolute wow colors. Obviously I can wear any color in the summer season, but there's going to be certain colors that just make me pop. I was absolutely obsessed with the deep plum shades, the deeper reds, and even some of the green colors. But overall, I just think it was so cool to kind of see how my skin reacted to every single color that was getting draped on me. And this is also just really helpful for future reference, just to know that all these colors will always look great on me no matter what I'm wearing. Wow, so pretty. Oh, I love those. They're so You're kind of a dark brown summer. Yeah. So like you've got a lot from both of those pockets. You have a lot from dark, but we do have oh. like the brown. So a lot of times you might not just be like mm -hmm. a single, mm -hmm. but yeah, dark brown summer. So yeah. like here's that midsummer, right? True summer is just right in the heart. And we do have pastel summers that really look great with those lighter colors, which were more of your supporting players. Yeah, I love both of those palettes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the dark brown summer um, is a little reminiscent of an autumn. Yeah, I can see the crossover. Well, friends, the verdict is in. I'm a cross between a dark summer and a brown summer. I'm obsessed with these colors. And honestly, I never realized that you could actually have dark features and be a summer. So this has just been such a cool experience. And just look at this transformation right here. I feel like my skin just totally glows. I feel so vibrant and I'm so happy that I finally know my color season.